I will be playing the SCC qualifier, second one, which starts in 30 minutes. Yeah, so it's it's 14 rounds. I, f I failed to qualify two days ago, but that's be partially because it started at 5 a.m. This one was supposed to start at 9, but they moved it without warning, so I'm not really complaining. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try our best. I mean, it's <clears throat> ridiculously hard to qualify because it's not enough just to get top eight today. You also have to win tomorrow. But um, okay, I mean, obviously I'll just do my best and okay, we try to do best and uh, you know what happens, it happens. Vishy, what does doing your best mean? Well, uh, it uh, simply means you know playing playing my best chess and. Uh, you know what what happens happens and uh okay c as b7 shaba balash chonka okay let's go let's go e4 okay let's play my my berlin line let's see what he knows bishop a4 generally this is a pretty pretty good weapon in blitz Yeah, okay, b5, yeah. Let's move now. I think I like bishop b3. <clears throat> knight a5, bishop c2. If he castles, I'll go knight c3. Here's bishop b7. Yep. Okay, b4 is a good move. Had this many times. Objectively, I think white is worse, but it's very sharp. Yeah, I'm attacking d7 two different ways, so I might be winning the pawn back. He's really digging into his clock. Knight c6, okay. Okay, what do I want to do? Knight cd7. Here we can take switch the other knight to e5. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I see something. Wait, wait, wait. I have a move. Takes there, 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 there. Yep, I think that's almost winning if he has to move his rook. He obviously sees it. That's why he hesitated. No, I think this is like really strong. Check here. Yeah, this should be winning. Yeah, I think he has to go. Oops, sorry. I think he has to go knight a5. Then maybe knight e5. Yeah, knight a5, I guess. Now let's just go with my gut here, knight e5. Maybe I should have just kept the knight on d7 and gone like b3 or something slow. I can be a little too jumpy in these situations. Yeah, bishop f6 is a good move. Didn't realize that. Go with the other knight. Hmm. No, oh, but then he has... Oh. Okay, fine. I'll go with the other knight. I will go with the other knight. I kind of missed bishop takes e5 simply, but then I guess knight takes e5. Still in control. Yeah, fortunately I have knight e5. Okay, c6. Okay, I don't really want that pawn, I think. Instead, I should probably just drop. Wait, I can go queen c5 also. Now this looks This looks pretty good. Unless I'm blundering something. I did. I almost played queen c4. 
Ugh. Okay, I guess I have to go like this. I'm still up a pawn. Goes queen d4. I screwed this up. I definitely screwed this up. Still should be better though. Go b3 to restrict his knight. And then bishop b3. Yeah, the problem is if I take it as rook... Okay, whatever, I'll just take it anyway. Okay, let's get the knight out of there at least. Or maybe wait, maybe I can go a4 first. Yeah, let's go a4 first. Now I'll go here. If d2, I have rook c4. Now rook c3, and now he's starting to... Lose all his pawns. Yeah, okay, now it's winning. Okay, I can take here. I can take this way also. Hmm, not sure. Okay, fine, I'll just do this. Yeah, it's still not over. You need to be careful. Hmm. Let's go here. Go rookie two. Okay, let's just go rook a2. I'll sack one of the pawns. Yeah, now it's completely winning. Now it's easy. Just get my king in. Okay, we win the first one. Nice. Okay, I was not playing great in the middle game, though. I'm just checking where I went wrong. This was good. It's good. Yeah, queen f3 instead of queen c5. Queen c5 walked into this little trick. I mean, I'm still plus, plus 1.5 here, so... I don't think I ever relinquished the advantage. Here, rookie 2. I guess I just go back to e3. Okay, whatever. Okay, bad your O. Nasty pairing. This guy's good. Definitely a nasty pairing. Okay, let's go principled. E5. D5. Okay, he's going to play reverse perk. Okay, this is all kind of theory. Uh, I can play H6. I can play bishop G4. Yeah, let's go bishop G4. Let's try to be aggressive. And now I never know what to do. Let's just make an improving move. Hmm, C3. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, it's still a little bit adjusted, but I'm fine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Bishop F8. There's definitely something going around in Toronto. <clears throat> Let's go here. Ah, he goes d4. Maybe I should have gone knight c5. No, no, I'm, I'm totally fine. It's just literally the only thing remaining. Yeah, I'm already worse. Like, I, I'm getting totally outplayed by this guy. Getting totally outplayed. Let's go b5, maybe. I'm even worried about g4 at this point. Okay, I want to go knight b6, but it's a little bit slow. Okay, bishop f3 I'm not worried about, actually. That, I think, gives me... That that lets me breathe easier. That definitely... Ooh, I forgot about ba, Jesus. But then I have knight a4. It's still alright, I think. We'll make it work. 
Yeah, I think I'm fine now. He goes C4, so that's a bailout move. Okay, A, B. I guess he wants C5. No, no, C5, Knight, A4. I, B, C, B, simply. And if Knight, C4, that's just a draw, I guess. Knight, A4 is also a move, I guess. Try it. Knight a4, cb, knight b2, queen b2, cb. Oh, but I shouldn't be worse here. I mean, he's got no bishop. Four, try to fix the pawns, but then I create a weakness of my own. It's really hard to make this determination accurately. I don't really need a win in this game, though, so maybe I should play with no risk. Yeah, let's play a little bit more risk-free with rook d3. I think a4 is very positionally risky if I lose b5. He's playing like really, really solid. Queen c2 loses the queen. Queen b7. Queen e7, maybe. Man, it's so. Such a hard position to play for some reason. If I can make him go rook b1, then I go rook c8, and maybe I have a tiny pull. Yeah, he does go rook b1. Yeah, but now, okay, here, just be solid. Okay, I can go queen d3, ooh, wait, wait, he'll just slide rook c4. Ooh, 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 now, now I have an advantage. Now I have an advantage. Okay, wait, what? Can't I just take? I can also take there. I don't know which one to take. Rook takes c4 might win both pawns, but rook takes b4 forces the trade. Mm, I'm gonna play like a Soviet schoolboy. I'm gonna play rook before. Probably a mistake, but okay, whatever. Now I have no risk. Now I'm not risking. It's a bad move. And I'm getting outplayed. I'm gonna go here. Gosh, I lost it. Man, that's just unlucky. That's just highly, highly unlucky. Yeah, knight f6. And I get mated somehow. Yeah, knight g4 is an insane move. I guess I should go knight e6. Knight f6, king h8. Yeah, here I'm probably winning. Yeah, amazing. Bishop g7 does not work. Oh, I also blundered the knight on c5. Yeah, that was just a mental collapse. No, but I'm just completely winning already. Totally over the hump. Just 
anything queen d6 any move well actually not any move but probably queen d6 yeah somehow we found this knight g4 trick with no time yeah this stuff always happens in these qualifiers maybe queen c6 was better i don't know thought after queen f3 it's already over but somehow he found these ridiculous defensive moves but okay whatever yeah amazing yeah un it's unbelievable that this position is just losing <laughs> geometry let's try to win the next couple This is a pretty normal position. I don't need a perfect score to qualify, so if I win like five or six in a row, I'll be back in the tournament. If I lose another one, though, we might as well withdraw. Yeah, this is not looking winnable. Like, I want to go here and then maybe here. He sees right through it. I guess he just has queen h4. Oh, f5. Oh, I also missed that. Okay, I'm getting crushed. <laughs> Simply. Knight f3, f4. Bishop d2. Maybe. I don't know. It's risky, but I'll try it. Oh, f4, I have h4, maybe, and then knight g5. I'm sure there's a defense, but it's a tricky idea. Ah, this is the defense, yeah. I didn't see that either. But these guys are really bring their A game in, in qualifiers. I think I'm borderline lost. Bishop d5. I mean, if he moves his knight, I have knight f7. Ah, bishop e7, bishop f8. Wow. Really? Let's try this move. Okay, goes back to c8. I mean, obviously, draw is not acceptable. But I, I don't even think I have an alternative. I mean, I have no moves. I guess bishop d5. Knight e7, I think, forces me to make a draw. <laughs> yeah, maybe these are the guys I should be playing in when I stream, not 3000s. Yeah, I have no choice. Bishop f7 is the only way I see to stop bishop e8. But obviously that's just absurdly risky. I mean, maybe I should try it. Because a draw basically puts me out of the tournament. Okay, let's try it. Obviously this is like, I would never make this decision normally, but I have to, I have to give it a shot. Okay, wait, bishop e8 is maybe not the best way to punish me though. Because now if he takes with the rook, I have rook a6. Okay, yeah, bishop e8 was actually kind of placid. Okay, but he has c4, wow. Yeah, I didn't see that either. Bishop b1. 
defend f2. Okay, maybe c4 is not that dangerous. He has no bishop f2, I'm defending the rook. Okay, let's try to take. I guess I'm blundering something, but I go here, I thought. I'm hanging by a single. Ah, oh, he's got this move. Yeah, he's got that move. I didn't see that. I guess. Ah. Oh. I lose a piece or wait? No, I guess I don't lose a piece. Rook f3. No, f3 of this. Okay, wait. Queen b2? Okay, I guess I go here. Still far from over. I mean, these guys are just so tricky. Now I should be able to win. Still not easy, Jesus. Okay, but the pawn in game should be winning. Huh, I'll take the pawn and blunder the queen. That was a tough one. Barely, barely. Jeez. Yeah, these people are monsters. Total monsters. Okay, so I thought it was all basically theory. But I guess this just allows black to equalize this whole knight d5 operation. <clears throat> Yeah, already here I'm much worse. Queen f6 is correct, as is king h8. Yeah, here obviously bishop f7. Rook f7 I think was winning and I saw that move. Yeah, bishop b8 was a really bad move. That gives me a new lease on life. Yeah, and queen e5 is a challenging move to refute. C5, queen f7, only way to get an advantage. This is already bad. And this just blunders a piece. Yeah. Did I miss maiden one? I'm totally not surprised if I did. Entirely possible. But if you could point, point out where, I'd appreciate it. Okay, Cossack 12. Yeah, another must win. Jakub Kosakowski, never heard of him. Okay, let's play Caro to get an unbalanced position early. Okay, knight takes d4, knight c6. Yeah, I don't know this line very well. I think g6 is the move. g7. I think you're supposed to go like this. Try to trade the bishops. Never know which bishop I should trade in such positions. I guess black is worse. Yeah, he played the most annoying line.
This is going to be very hard to win. I'm worried about queen h4 and queen h3. Then I guess I go h, knight f5 and h5 maybe. Okay, drops it back. He probably wants rook d1. No, he goes bishop f4. Wait, that's a free pawn. That's definitely a free pawn. Okay, I don't buy any of what he's doing right now. Because knight g5, I have knight d4. Take c6. Oh, that was his idea. Okay, then I missed that completely. Let's just go back to d5. I forgot about queen c6 there. Still, I should be fine. D2 hangs. If he goes back to c2, I think I'll go knight d4. <coughs> At least I got him to think, finally. Queen c2, I guess queen b7 is a move to prepare rook a c8. Goes b4. Hmm. Can take and go knight d4. How am I winning that? Man. I think I have to try. I don't no idea how I'm winning this game, but... My a pawn is too far back, I think. Okay, takes. Bishop b7, maybe I can try rook b2. I also go rook b7 over the seventh rank. Can, oh, wait, rook b6 is also interesting. Actually, rook b6 makes the most sense to me. <clears throat> Yeah, I missed that move as well. Okay, but I guess now I can push. No, oh, he goes bishop c5. Wow. Okay, whatever. Yeah. He can't take. That's good. I'm threatening rook c8. If I can get a pair of rooks off the board, I should have good winning chances. Yeah, this is a tricky position for white to defend. It was bishop a3. Good move. Let's push. Go here. I guess it's going to be a race between the a pawn and the fact that he has this idea of. Okay, goes rook e3. Wait, do I not have. Oh, so close to being able to just win outright. But I don't quite have the way to do that. Let's just go here. Trying to make an open-ended move because he's in severe time pressure. If rook a7, I have bishop d4 winning. I'm actually threatening to take and go rook b1 and bishop e5. Okay, wait. It's, there must be a win here. I First of all, I can... Wait, I think I see the win. I think just takes and here is over. Yeah, nice. GG. GG. That was a solid game. I didn't panic in a worse position out of the opening. And that the the game I lost really stings though. That that was not not good. But this stuff tends to happen a lot in qualifiers of every and money tournaments. Queen d5 was a good move. Yeah, and this was good too. I think I found the only the only way to play to play for the win. No, this is actually a well played end game by me. I think. Yeah, El Miracle, thank you. I need about 10 and a half out of 14, so I've already burned a point. There is a small break after round four, so... Okay, there, there aren't that many people who've got a perfect score. There's there's, there's gonna be like a couple. Well, I, I didn't claim I messed up the opening. I was definitely worse. I'm not exactly sure where I went wrong. Thank you, Decker, for the prime. Thank you, Jarbs, for the 21 months. Yeah, it really was. Taking on a3 and bishop fa was also winning, I'm pretty sure, yeah. No, but here he has rook takes g7. He has a, like a little intermezzo. And of course, this should be winning, but it's a little bit more work. It's a little bit more work. Yeah, KO's tomorrow if I qualify, and if I don't, I'm commentating. 
I don't know why I lose a lot of my time scrambling ability in these these types of tournaments. I just don't fully understand why this always seems to happen, but it is what it is. Yeah, bishop g7. I guess 96. Yeah, I had to find this move. Okay, I have been known to win a game with increment from time to time. My GM title did not entirely come from 3 plus 0 events. Okay, there we go. Oof, Shigalko. That's a nasty pairing. Okay. Not my favorite opponent. Yeah, I don't know knight f6 at all. Like, I literally don't know this move. I'm just gonna go knight c3. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this. I'm, I'm dragged into another one of these random lines. Let's go knight d5. Yeah, I mean, he knows he knows all of the theory here. I think I'm just much worse. Losing, a, I, th I knew I was losing a pawn, but I didn't realize I have no compensation. Let's go here. Rookie one, b3, bishop b2, maybe is that setup will yield something. Oh, I actually got him to think. <laughs> Yeah, I want to go bishop b2 and queen g4 generates some compensation along the lines of pressure on h7 if he castles. Yeah, I got him to think, which is good. Okay, I guess I should develop. Let's try c4. Making all the moves that I was afraid of. Like every one of them. Let's go g3, h4. Should I knock the queen out of there? Yeah, but he just goes d6, e5, and pretty straightforwardly winning. I guess I should go b4 with queen h6. Queen F6. Oh, because I don't have Queen H5 anymore. I forgot that. <laughs> and nothing going for me right now. Oh, it's just, it's just busted. I never got any compensation. to get him low on time that's that's really the only chance i need to get him into, he gets nervous in time pressure f5 bishop d5 okay obviously losing but maybe we can try to fight bishop d2 and b4 is the hope Oh, that's a really good move. It's a really good move. Wow. Wait, let's try this. Yeah, but he just does this. Yeah. Not much happening here. Oh, and he has a fort, sir. Ah, he's got this move. Oh my gosh. 
Oh! What am I, I mean, I'm just out of my mind right now. I'm just totally out of my mind. Yeah, okay. It should be seven. I thought I'd already recovered, but no. This guy rook f7. It's another trick. Yeah, now it's just over. Ah, but rook c7 just rook e8, so that wasn't even a chance. Oh, just queen b7, obviously, it was, it was a try. Didn't even see that move. Now bishop e7. Yeah, I'm too tired to be playing right now, unfortunately. And obviously I shouldn't have gone for this line. I think white is already much worse. Something like this would have been better. E6, bishop b2. Because he doesn't have d5. Yeah. Bishop d3 was a garbage move. Too passive. Yeah, now c4 is another mistake. c3 instead is better. Open the center. c4 makes no sense. Now b4 was another chance. Takes, takes, here, 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 and bishop e3, and white is totally fine. I rejected this because of queen f3, but I have queen b1 and bishop e4. Yeah, too many mistakes. Now this is a brutal qualifier. I mean, Zhigalko on 3 out of 4. It's just, just, yeah, no words. basically need to run the table. I still have a chance. Uh, 12 out of 14 definitely qualifies, but <laughs> I mean, that will require a total 180. Thanks, Scotch Zero, for the tier one. I mean, I, I don't know how saying that's a tough pairing qualifies as complaining, but okay. Or saying I don't know the opening is that like not allowed now? I mean, okay. All right, 25-20. Let's try to win this game. I right, goes a3. <laughs> All right. This is already bad for white. Whatever, let's just go h5. Trying to go h4, h3. Well, that was not the right approach. Queen. <laughs> I think he actually was doing all right after castles. Okay, Ilyanov. <laughs> okay, Ilyanov. Yeah, definitely not a softer pairing, but I, sh I don't know what even to play. Let's go. E Against him, I should probably play e4. Hopefully, he plays a Berlin. No, he goes. Yeah, I don't know this line at all. I'll just go d3, just something total sideline. Total sideline, just d3, bishop e3.
Yeah, nothing here. Before I'm trying to stop like rook a5, but I don't know. I mean, this is going to be a hard position to generate chances in. <clears throat> okay, he does. Okay, he takes, which is not too scary. Drop the bishop back, maybe. Yeah, drop the bishop back. Get it out of the vulnerable spot. Okay, maybe a3 or a4. I don't know. No clue. A3. Defends the pawn, but I don't really want to play C4. But I also don't want to allow Rook A3. No, Rook A3 is not too dangerous. So let's go Knight F1. For now. Perhaps Knight G3 was better. Okay, I want to go A4 probably. And then Rook D1. Nah, I don't know. Oh, both moves are bad. Yeah, this is... Yeah, at least I got the order of captures correctly. Ooh. Wait, let's control the file. Can I play for a little edge here is the question. Go A4. Okay, definitely now I'm probably the one pushing, but it's way too solid, I think, for me to really have anything realistic here. Well, the knight F4, I'll go king H2 and then G3. Chase the knight away. Keep trying, keep, keep trying to get him low on time. Obviously threatening h4. Perhaps I could have traded and gone. Yeah, maybe that was better. But I like... Ooh, no, 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 no. So what am I doing? That would have been a disaster. I think I should go like this. Make your road to FM... <laughs> road to FML. <laughs> go knight b6, rook d7. No, this is this is starting to get unpleasant for black. Still not sure I have anything concrete, but okay, let's go rook d7. Yeah, just gonna squeeze him here. Okay, I don't see any game-winning tactics, so let's just okay. Wait, King Eight should probably go rook c7 actually. C7. I can always go knight b6 when I want to. Such as now. Okay, I'll just connect my other mic. This is too much work. It's a free rook, by the way. Thank you, Pavel. That was a nice game. I squeezed him. All right, uh, this is, yeah. It was a nice game, though. It was kind of overtaken by the mic, but I think the I managed to squeeze him in the end game. Okay, Sergoy. Cam and voice were better before, okay. Hopefully the mic is acceptable, at least. Yeah, there's just no winning until I'm back in Charlotte. I can have literally, I can invite the world leading sound expert into my room and he can work on it for six hours and it still won't be good enough. <laughs> okay, goes d5, so Petrosian variation. Thank you, Blood Lade. <laughs> I never remember what to do here. I think I'm supposed to go here. I think I'm supposed to go here. Or maybe a5 was the mole. You're the world's leading sound expert, and it sounds fine. That's reassuring. Thank you, Vibing Hoodie. I think the move is a5, because now he's got this a3 line, which is annoying. The idea is knight h4, knight f4, obviously. 
That's why we keep the queen on d8 in such positions. Wait, no, this is good for black, I think. This is good for black. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting picked apart today and I'm not like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just playing chess. Okay. We want to go f5? I don't know what to do here. Bishop f6 is interesting. Then he moves his knight back. Could go f5. Okay, let's just go f5. He takes it. I'll take back. Back to g3. No, he's not Korean. He's definitely Russian. I'm pretty sure I know who this is. It's not Kuryakin. No, no, it's not Kuryakin, but it's, it's a Russian GM. Okay, is my mic if my mic is quiet then I can raise the gain. Let's just let me know. Eh, looks like it's fine. Drop back. Gotta go ninety seven, eight four ninety five. H three, H four. Okay, let's go E four. Going downhill. Kind of. I don't even know. I seem to be making very natural moves, but <clears throat> position is unpleasant. I can repeat, but I think I'll take this opportunity to try to improve my position. Oh, I had a... No, I didn't have a 4. But I should keep it in mind. I did not have a 4, but I should keep it in mind. Ah, he's got this move again. It's a nasty one. It's a nasty one. Let's just go here. Yeah, with the H file open, it gets really dangerous. If I can trade his... Ah, is this, but... I do have this move. What if I go there? Try to greedily keep my material advantage. I've been un unwise, but... See. And sack the queen. Actually, probably should sack the queen. Now F three or F G. Let's go F G. Oh, he's got this check simply, which I completely forgot about. What's happening now? Yeah, we got him. Whew, tough game. 
Cool. That was a that was a, a difficult one to pull out, but we managed. Hmm, that's a very important one actually, because now I'm sort of back in the thick of things. <clears throat> Well, the queen sack was just a practical decision. I could tell you, you would have a hard time stopping my pawn. No, but queen e7 doesn't win on the spot, my friend. I did see that move. I did see that move. I don't think queen e7 wins on the spot. I mean, probably I'm wrong, but here, here, I saw this line. And then h3. I thought he loses. Or at the very least, I, I'm not really risking. No, I, I can't, can't afford to make... Oh, this actually probably is a draw. Here, here. I think black cannot afford... Oh, actually, 92. Oh, he's got 92. Oh, that's the move. I did see queen e7, but I didn't see 92. Yeah, I mean, it's all very easy when you're when you're looking at the bar. Yeah, I have to go like this, but this is this is lost, yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 I missed that. <clears throat> Probably I should go bishop c3. This might be the only move. And then e2. Check here. Check here. I think this is a draw. I wonder what the computer eval is. Yeah, it's a draw. Oh no, it's not a draw. Oh, you can go you can go queen d8 check. Alex Ajax, thanks for the point. He can go like this. That's the winning move. And then takes d7 with check. That's what was missed. Yeah, instead. No, this is all like basically correct. Yeah, that we played all the like the top moves. Bishop page six. All of them. Bishop page five, queen h7. <clears throat> Yeah, and then I somehow zigzag my way around. Nice. That, that was a good game. That's true. Okay, yeah, and I was right. We're playing top or lowest rated guy with six and a half, which is Chigayev. Max Chigayev. All right, hello, Maxime. Let's go B3, which I usually do. Yeah, I kind of like these positions. Yeah, Chigaev is always super, super good in these types of positions, in, in these types of tournaments. Go d3. Could go knight c3, it's hard to... Okay, let's go knight c3. <clears throat> Yeah, five is what I was kind of worried about. Wow, that's very loud. Not a big fan of what's happening here. But it's just a position. Alright. Sorry. I mean, not much I can do there. Okay, I want to go for the e5 square. <laughs> Try to control that square. Yeah, actually, now, now I think my position is decent. Now I think my position is pretty decent. Yeah, he's playing this kind of like in a French. He wants a bishop b8. No, he takes it. Good d4. Yeah, white is better. <coughs> yeah, but he. Maybe I should have gone d4 straight away. Who knows? I don't see a compelling reason not to take this pawn. Do not see a compelling reason not to take this pawn. Yes, he goes rook f5. 
And I can play a bunch of different things. Does knight f7, okay. Alright, so that makes sense. It's a good move. It's a really good move. Queen h5 is interesting. Trying to keep a time advantage because he's super, super tricky in time pressure. So we need like 40 seconds. Yeah, this is this is uh, pretty promising. This is promising. Five seconds for black. Three seconds. He's got to move. He just let his clock run out. But he's, I mean, he's basically lost here. But I'm surprised he didn't even try to make a move. Yeah, that's weird. We'll take it. No, but it's it's winning. I mean, it's like plus two. It's like plus two. Yeah. Solid game. Another solid game. Yeah, but now we have another must win. And then we'll, if we win the next one, we'll have eight out of ten. And then... You know, we'll start talking about a decent result. Okay, I have seven out of nine now. Three GMs in a row. Easy clap. I think my performance rating is like back to 3,100 in this tournament. Yeah, definitely in the running for sure. Especially if the top results go like my way. Duda is playing Solemn. Solemn should be winning this. Wow. Dude is going to have 7 out of 9, too. We might play him. Yeah, Solemn's crushing. Solemn is crushing. Thank you, Remper, for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Lots of... And thank you, Rory MMCC, for the sub as well. Much appreciated. Yeah, dude is a resilient guy, though. He's not going to go down easily. Thank you, Hudon GZ, for the prime. Let's go. 19 months. I think he, White can actually take that pawn. No, this is going to be hard to defend, though. Solemn is two seconds. This is knight f2. Dude is holding on. No, I don't think White is going to win this. I think White's going to lose. Dude, look at how he's... Now he has a, basically a fortress. Oh my god. Wait, Solomon has to be careful, because... Ooh, but knight... C5 apparently was the only move. No, now it's lost. Now white is lost. Yeah, now white is lost. Should have watched the endgame videos. You need two, maybe wait. Still not totally over. I've seen these types of games end in draws. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think Solemn's gonna squeeze this one out. Now Black can start pushing. Actually, wait, is this a fortress? This could be a fortress. Bishop F8, just can do Zugzwang. Knight D3 apparently was the move. No, Knight D3, and I think it might be a draw. Yeah, Knight B4, Knight D3. No, this is a draw. Amazing. Although, B2, B2! Oh, he had to move his king. What was 91? Oh my god, 91 was total self-destruction. Just, he literally just had to keep the knight on d3, just go here. And it's just a dead draw, like, black literally has no moves. Because the moment you play king a1, you go knight c1. Anyways, we're playing Rasmus, so pretty strong opponent, but we can beat him. Okay, Rasmus. Okay, let's, mm, maybe we can go b5. No, let's go g6, let's, let's go with what I know. 
stick to what I know. Yeah, I don't really mind a perk structure. I don't really mind a G3 perk. Yeah, usually they take with the bishop here. Yeah, 92. He knows all the ideas. This is a nasty position. I wanted to go here. Hanging by a thread already. Yeah, but I missed... I thought I'd maybe go here. But I missed queen d6. Yeah, I forgot about queen d6. I don't know how bad it is, but it doesn't look good. If knight d6, I guess I have rook e6. Still in the game. Okay, it does go queen d6. Okay, rook e6, obviously. I guess he goes rook ad1. No, he goes e5. Okay, I have to play knight e5, I think. Wait, no, this doesn't look that bad. If I can wind my way out of it. Okay, wait, rook d8. I guess rook d8 is the move. I can also go bishop p7. Not sure what to play. Just not sure what to play. B7, he's got knight B5, so I actually think I should go here. And I want to keep the bishop pair, so maybe I should go back to E7, actually. Bishop E7, also bishop C7 is interesting. I'll go here. <clears throat> Too slow. A little faster. Yeah, knight b1 probably should go. Knight db1. There's <clears throat> a four. Takes, takes, knight d7, knight c4, knight c5, knight b6, knight e4. Complicated. Very hard to evaluate. But it feels... Feels right. I don't know. It does feel right. Also, rookie three if he takes is interesting. Maybe even stronger. Yeah, probably rookie three is the way. Probably this is the way. Yeah, here. Oh, this is a nasty move, but I can take. Rook c7. Okay. Not sure if I should push or what. I don't know. I think it's a draw. Okay, we got a push. Push. Okay, I have a bunch of moves here. here and try to win this oh my god move yeah i got him we got him 
We got another one. Wow. Suddenly I am very much back from the dead. This is a, a typical trick, King F2, Knight D3. Four in a row against GMs. Yeah, we're playing Solemn. Okay, so he's obviously fine with the draw, but I am not. So what should we play? Play Jabava London. Hmm, maybe we can play a regular London. Let's play a regular London. Do something position like he's super tactical, so. Okay, he goes for this line. Yeah, Min always plays this against me. Wait, did I blunder some Queen F6 related nonsense? Should have gone Knight C3, of course. Okay, doesn't play it. I thought that was dangerous, but okay, whatever. Okay, now I know Min likes to play F3 in these types of positions. Okay, let's start with this move. So B4. Okay, now F3 makes a lot more sense, but still, he takes and goes G4. It's dangerous. Really dangerous. Hmm. Okay, let's go B4. And B5, C5, he's got B5. I'm too, way too slow in my attack here. Typical solemn. Always find some way to checkmate the opponent. Rook f7. Okay. I can still go f3. Okay, let's actually prepare it. Let's prepare it. Okay, I guess c6. And probably I shouldn't have shouldn't have delayed. D5? No, but maybe this is fine. I guess he takes it. I take it the bishop, maybe. Let's pray him a bit. <clears throat> yeah, and this looks pretty decent for me. If it goes d5, I'll play cd and then fe. Okay, now I'm up on time, which is nice. It was c5. Wait, that's got to be wrong. That has to be wrong. I'm just going to go intuitively and take f4. That was his idea. Whoa. This is a nutty idea. No clue what's happening here. I'm just going to take it. I don't care. I like, literally don't care. Like, oh my god. Like, yeah. Like, am I going to... Okay, I think I messed up, or did? I have no idea. Knight p5, maybe? Knight d5? Yeah, okay, let's go knight p5. It's a crazy position. But it feels like I'm worse. I don't know why it just feels that way. I can go c5. And then try to go bishop c4. He'll probably sack his exchange, but... Position is pretty close to collapsing there. Now let's go c5. Four. Should be winning here. Twenty-seven e five. Very strong. And h five. Knight d six. Bishop e six. Takes 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 everything. Maybe. Wait, I can go e6 first also, but I don't need to. I can take. Rookie 2, queen f7, rookie 2, rookie 1 wins. Yeah, okay, we got him. That was a good game.
It was a good game. Yeah, I just I didn't lose my mind in the tactical complications. And I got him. Yeah, the London was a great choice against him, I think, because he's not not a big fan of these positions. He also had ED and Queen F6, and I think probably black is better. Yeah, but this is like Min's credit, because he he know he likes this plan with F3, and it's actually a super dangerous plan. Uh, C5 is the top move. Damn, I found a lot of good moves this game. And so is E5. And so is Knight C6. Wow. Yeah, I just didn't give him any chances. And so is E6. Damn, girl. Okay. Here we go. Big game. We'll be black, but we can win with black. Okay, we're playing Duda. We can beat him. He's been making a lot of mistakes. I mean, this is really all I know. Yeah, he doesn't blunder. <laughs> the, the trick. Okay, this is, I know, still basically equal. Here. Should be four looks interesting. Just castle. Probably gonna go bishop e2. And I'll go ninety seven. Yeah, we're gonna he's gonna have to get over ambitious for me to win this game. Ah, bishop d3 is nice. Thought I might take and go e5. Actually that looks I mean, it's very risky, but I'm not winning this unless I take a lot of risk. I'm not winning this unless I, I play very risky, and we need to win this game. Okay, he takes it. That surprises me. Bishop, ah, bishop e5, rook c6. So I have to take with a knight, I guess. Kind of underestimated that move, to be honest. Okay, I think I can get away with c6. If he castles, I go queen e No, if he castles, I go f5. Or do I? Yeah, I guess I go f5. Goes rook c1, rook d1. Ah, there's a tactic. No. Bishop h7. It's not the end of the game, though. Let's see. <clears throat> Blundered a little tactic. Okay, I have to go like this. Forgot about this trick, Bishop H7. But his, I mean, it's still complicated. It's still complicated. Is this the strongest qualifier of all time or what? I mean, what are these pairings? <laughs> okay, trades queens. Which is not what I like to see. Thought I had F5, but now I say I don't. The guy is just a machine. Total machine. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm afraid this is this ain't looking good. It's gonna go king e2 simply. I mean, it all it was one blunder, one tactical blunder is all it took. I'm gonna try to hold this somehow. But, uh, he's playing like an engine. I struggle so much against Duda, like even compared to other super GMs. I don't know what it is about him. Yeah, there goes the qualification. Unless unless something miraculous happens. Unless something miraculous happens. Which is not likely. No, it's certainly not okay. Despite the pawn loss. Bishop pair is really what kills me in this position. It's not even the extra pawn. Wait, he goes to rook takes. What? Okay, wait, I have to try to make this move work. <laughs> oh, rook d7, I see. No, this guy is on another level.
as on another level. Um, now the material's equal, but I'm so paralyzed. Get right here. 55 simply. No, no chances. I need a mouse slip or something. Five, it just restricts the bishop. Wait, but now the only thing is he can't really move his bishop. That doesn't help me. I don't have any pieces in the game. And now he can move his bishop. Even b4 should be winning. like playing against the wall trying should be five maybe trying to generate chances here unfortunately I think is no e4c ah, he's got this move it's like an only move trying here Wait, now I'm threatening Rook G2, though. Still a game. It's definitely still a game. Oh, but he's got this move. Wow. Guy just is just unreal. He gave me zero chances. Like, every time I tried to do something, he just shut it down. Ship d5 is such an annoying move. Stopping rook g2. Otherwise, it was unclear. I don't even know where my, like, big mistake was. It felt decent for black, and then suddenly it just got really bad. Well, it's just plus one. This position's just bad. Yeah. No, he did everything right. Literally every move is the top move. I'm checking right now. Literally every move. F5, Shift G3, Shift A6, B4, King D3 is fine. Yeah, this is amazing. And Bishop D5, like only move to win cleanly. Amazing. Just amazing. Yeah, he just played it. I wonder what his accuracy is in this game. It's probably in the 90s. Probably in the 90s. Yeah, Duda with block is a ref pairing for sure. Yeah, 91.5. He played a classical level game in 3 plus 1. So, it is what it is. Alright, well we gotta win the last two games now, and then a even then, I might not qualify, but I'll have a chance. No, I, I'm still... T yeah, by tie breaks, I'm still top 8 right now. So I just basically need to go 2 out of 2. Now, Duda's just so infuriating to play against. He's beaten me every single time we played, whether it's two aim chess tournaments and now this. And I think he's beaten me in title Tuesday before. No, 9.5 is not going to be enough. For sure. There's yet another break. Just, I don't know. Three breaks is a little overkill, but I guess they need to do the fair play checks. There we go. Oof. Okay, you think Yu Yingyi. That's an interesting pairing. Nine and a half out of 12. Yeah, so we, we need to stop him. Mystical Monk, the Prime. And I want to get a, a fresh position, that's the point. 
now play him. You can go g4, h4. It's always interesting. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, let's play some uncompromising chess. There's knight f, d7. All right, fine. Could go g5. That seems a little too risky. Let's develop. Yeah, I didn't get much, if anything. King f1, king g2. The one thing is it's not so easy for black to find a good spot for his king, because if he castles king side, I have g5. <clears throat> yeah, I think I have a pretty solid position here. B6, okay, that's what I thought he'd do. I want to go c5, knight b5. Goes b5. Oh. Yeah, I saw that move, but I somehow didn't realize it's good. And now I see that it is. And yeah, now I see that it is very, very good. These guys are just so unforgiving. I'm, I'm already in trouble. That's literally all it takes. It's just one little sloppy move. No moves here. I mean, just goes b4 and c5. If I have my king on g2, you wouldn't have any of this. Okay. I have an idea. I like this. Okay. Uh, let's just get sliding downhill. Okay, let's go g5. Only chance. I, I need to open the file. It was h5. It's another move I missed. These people are brutal. B3. Doesn't look like a good move, but do I take? Takes to the rook. Okay. Didn't notice that either. No increment I'd win this game, like, a hundred times out of a hundred. Like, it would already be over. <laughs> no increment. I think the only move is 95. 56, wait, 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 this has to be good for me now. Go! Got him. The fantastic game. Ugh. Yeah, I've, I've had some good moments this tournament. That was clutch right there. It's absolutely clutch. Okay, so draw probably satisfies me in the last round. Yeah, Jababa for the win. <clears throat> Oh, I wouldn't say G5 worked. I was definitely worse. And then at some point I was just better. I think a draw satisfies both parties. So hopefully my opponent will think the same way. Yeah, this is already good. Oh, wow. This is winning. Oh, Rook C5 was winning. But this is also good. Wow, Bishop G7 is the only move. 
Nice. This I'm pumped about this. And G7 is also accurate. 95. I'm just curious what to do here. Oh, check and rook. C7. Yeah, this was a really nice game. Yeah, super pumped about that one. Super pumped about that one. Okay, so let's take a look at the standings. Yeah, definitely I would say that a draw should qualify. I mean, if a draw doesn't qualify, then I I don't care. Like, uh, I've done what I... Sorry, let me just switch back. I've done, I've done my due diligence. So I'm number five. Man, 10 out of 13, and I still am like qualification uncertain yeah i'm gonna offer a draw early to get it out of the way and if my opponent doesn't take it then we're, we're just gonna play there are tie breaks of course yeah this is the qualifier for the top eight so it's not like if i win it's an automatic qualification qualification i also might play artemiev and then definitely he should be fine with the draw yeah, I mean, if I don't qualify with the draw, that would be insane. Be insane. All right, so we're just waiting for the games to finish. There's a couple. Oof, this guy's trying to mate with Knight and Bishop. Ugh. Okay, come on. There's always one of these. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. This is easy clap. King e3 and bishop b3, bishop c2. Or this, you yeah. know. Wait, oh, okay, this is also fine. Wait, why would he go to d3, though? Why would he go to d3? Oh, there's a 50 move roll. Oh, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. He, he he succumbs to the 50 move rule just when he has the king in the right spot. Just when he has the king in the right spot. Okay, here we go. Last game. Okay, we're offering a draw, and then if I if he doesn't take it, we're just playing. Yeah, okay, it's Artemiev, so I think I think he'll be fine with the draw. Yeah, okay. Alright, so. Yeah, so we make a draw, and we wait. Okay, sad draw with black against Artemiev. I mean, I don't think I would have too many winning chances. The point of that was to gain a half a point and try to qualify into the top eight. I mean, I think that should be pretty patently clear. There is a small chance that I don't qualify, but my tie breaks are really good before this round. So we're just going to wait for this round to finish. Okay, that was a really good performance, I think, overall. I won. Yeah, those despite those early losses, I managed to keep my composure. So I lost to Bahazir Odin, Jigalko, and Duda. Yeah, it does appear that I'm not commentating tomorrow. But if I lose tomorrow, I guess I can jump into the commentary booth, probably. No, you're good, you're good. No, I mean, normally I think I wouldn't be too happy with this, but... If if I get screwed on the tie breaks again, I'm I'm gonna have like no words. If I get screwed on the tie breaks, I'll have no words. Okay, so we want. We actually probably want Dubov and Duda to win. So let's wait. Let's see. So I'm number three, number four, five. Six, seven. Yeah, in order for me not to make the top eight, something insane would have to happen to the tie breaks. We definitely don't want Grishuk to win. Like we want as many nine and a halves to draw as possible. Um let's let's see let's see Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey and Angel, we want this to be a draw. You can watch it like the election. Yeah, we're watching Nevada. We're watching Nevada. Alright. Here we go. No, but the thing is, the the, 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 the the tie breaks only update after all of the games are finished. Just remember that. Remember that the tie breaks only update after all of the games are done. 
I sound like a commentator now. But yeah, thanks everybody for the support throughout the tournament. I, I really appreciate it. It was a very rocky start, but I think I totally avoided tilting and just kept my composure, which was... I'm making progress in that regard. Okay, but now Jeffrey should be winning. Yeah, okay, Angel is just losing his mind here. Jeffrey, Jeffrey should win this. Okay, so Denlas wins, which is not good. If they had drawn, I would have guaranteed qualify. I need to have the worst tiebreaks in order to not qualify. I think I should be in. Yeah, that's it. I'm. I think I'm guaranteed to be in. Yep, because Denlas is number eight right now, and he's the last ten and a half. But let's see which spot we're in. Okay, I really need to go though. I need to get a, get a little snack before I um have lessons and stuff. I'm positive. Yeah, we're in. B R N. The draw was a good decision. And I am in fifth place. Yeah, I'm in fifth. Who do I play? I think. Ooh, I played Dubov. Yeah, that's probably, I mean, not that I'd rather play Jeffrey or, like, Solom or, or Temyev. I think fifth plays fourth. One plays eighth, second plays seventh. Yeah, we're playing Dubov. In that case, I will see you guys later. And I'm going to send the raid over to Eric, uh, Eric Rosen. Thanks again for supporting me today. Really appreciate it. Uh, this was a super fun event, and I'll do my best to qualify tomorrow. See you guys later. Bye.